Under the former military regime, land grabbing became and is still a widespread systematic practice in Burma. Government bodies, particularly military units, seize large tracts of farmland, usually without compensation. Some of the land has been used for the expansion of military bases and new government infrastructure projects. Other areas are being used for commercial projects, either run by the military or by companies with ties to the military. Some land has also been sold to foreign companies, who have ties with many of these Burmese companies. In January 2010, 216 companies had received a total of 1.75 million acres, 708,200 hectares, of farmland in the form of state concessions from the State Agriculture Department. The Washington-based Center for Strategic and International Studies, in a report on its website, said, it is estimated that approximately 1.9 million acres were illegally transferred to private companies in the past 20 years. A significant proportion of this land grabbing has taken place in ethnic states as well as other areas of Burma. This rise in land theft is resulting in greater displacement and dispossession among Myanmar's rural population. Bilbolo, a Karen village in southern Burma, had around 50 households before the forced eviction of its people. The entire village was taken over by a rubber plantation owner named Uang Lin. <laughs> Nopato is a Karen village in the Tanatari division. The people there were forcibly relocated to the lower part of the village by the Burmese army. The division commanders resold the seized area to a Burmese businessman, Ulata, who owns Pipotun Company. In the upper part of Nopato village, 44 villagers' land was illegally seized, resulting in a loss of around 1,500 acres.
ตัวตาอุตานีอุดาเวดาตุนุพะตัวพุนพุกพาติตะพานยาลอสิเซลเวดาตะกุบะกุติตะตะตะตะอดาเลลอสิเซลเวดาตะตะตะตะตะตะต
With these political and economic reforms, the government is actively encouraging more investment in agriculture. However, this has had the opposite effect for most of those in the ethnic areas. Under Myanmar's 2008 constitution, the state remains the ultimate owner of all land and natural resources throughout the country. Land rights are only in the form of either leasehold rights, user rights, or the right to cultivate a certain plot of land. Two new land laws were passed on March 30th, 2012. The Farmland Law and the Vacant, Fallow and Virgin Land Management Law. These laws were intended to clarify ownership under the Constitution and provide protection to land leaseholders, guaranteeing more rights of ownership. But so far, the only ones who have profited from this new legislation have been big business and government interests.